That is a 10 out of 10 D. No, no. That's quite harsh. A nine. A nine. Me. Right. Hmm. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today's video is a Christmas Iceland taste <laughs> test. <gasps> We've never done Iceland Christmas taste test. No. I don't think I've ever, unless I've been to other people's parties, really had Iceland food. Um, Not true. Food. What? No, because remember they did that really spicy range a few years ago. Oh, and we, did we did the spicy that. range, yeah. yeah. And that was actually surprisingly... It was good. It was spicy. It was hot. I went a bit crazy with the order online. So our freezer is literally packed still with so much food. Yeah. I found it really, really good value for money. There was good deals on, so like three for five. Three? Oh, for five pounds. For five pounds. Yes. And then they had really good luxury items. So I picked lots of luxury items. The desserts and puddings looked incredible. So I'm really excited to get started. If you're new to the channel, we enjoy taste testing Christmas food from the supermarkets at this time of year but normally my content is based on affordable budget nutritious and delicious family meals so if you like that kind of thing do subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the Christmas taste test and let's go there is so much to go through you're starving hungry I am so you can choose first okay I'm starting with hopefully a good choice right. for, for first because obviously you've got to get the good stuff in while it's hot go on I, I really want to try these breaded camembert. Luxury. Breaded French camembert rounds. It comes with a little uh, uh, cranberry sauce. So. I mean, they look good. They're they do. big. They are. They're pretty chunky. It's like a chunky. big wheel of breaded cheese. Mm. So is camembert string? Is this camembert? Yeah. You know camembert. Oh, we know camembert. Yeah. We have it with like garlic and honey. Oh, hey, nice. All right, I'm, I'm not even going to mess around with the tearing. I'm just going to. That's like a proper mm. low, like a lot of camembert is in that. Mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mega cheese. Mm. Ooh. I love it. Wow. Camembert is really, really cheesy cheese. So mm. for me, it's a lot, but mm. it tastes like camembert. <laughs> mm. I love these um, breaded cheesy things. Yeah, you do. And when they're melted like this, even better. I have to um, say it's cooked very well. You kept it warm in the oven, didn't you? I kept it warm in the oven. It was air fried. A lot of this stuff was air fried. We were just mm. saying that air fry has changed the game with a lot mm. of this. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like made things taste better. Mm. And look better as well. Mm. They're really impressive for Iceland. Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? I think they're great. That like That's sort of like something you'd find at M&S. A breaded wheel mm. of camembert with a dipping sauce. Right. m and I think so. Like this is... Camembert's camembert. This is just camembert with bread crumb around it and a sauce. It's really simple. So if you got the same thing, it would be twice or three times as much at M&S, but it would be exactly the same. It would, the, the cheese would come from the same place. I'm not into camembert too much, it's too cheesy for me. Mm. But I do think that's really good. So I'm gonna go eight out of 10. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nine out of 10. Yeah, love Nine it. Nine out of 10. I know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna you started big. I have. You, but you've already given a nine and we've no. just started. Well. Uh oh. The only way is. Down from Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on then. All right, I really want to try one of these because I like. They look good, they don't look they? They look really good. So these are the luxury ones as well. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Mm. Good. I like that. Yeah. Again, I think the air frying mm. has lifted it up so much because. Often my issue with these is they kind of look very pale, uh, and they kind of they don't look as appetising as I think they could. Yeah, they don't look pale. They don't look pale at all. They've really kind of browned up. Yeah. Was it raw chicken? I don't think so. Right. Okay. Mm. They they were good. I'm gonna go eight out of ten. Seven. Yeah, I think they could be a bit more. Um, like just have a tiny bit of heat in there, just mm. a tiny bit. Like a little bit of spice. Yeah, just a tiny, it doesn't need to be spicy, but the heat would give it a bit more sharpness. So there's eight in a box and they're the luxury chicken skewers. Breaded mushroom? Yes. All right. Let's do breaded mushroom. Okay. Why did you only cook four breaded mushrooms? I'll eat the whole pack. Uh, because, True. look. <laughs> True. Mm. Who doesn't love a breaded mushroom? Mm. They need a mayonnaise. They do. 
The thing is with the breaded mushroom though, they can very easily not be very nice. They can be a bit slimy inside. Yeah, especially when they've cooled down, which these have, and they're not slimy. Not at all. I'm really impressed by yeah. them. They've got a nice texture. They've got nice garlicky flavor. I think they're an eight out of 10 mm. for a breaded mushroom. I really do. I think they're really good. I was gonna get eight out of 10 for them. Mm. They're really nice. They'd be really good. The thing is with these, they're great fresh out the oven, but they're also a health hazard because they like pop <laughs> yeah, yeah, garlic yeah, yeah. butter yeah. in your, like boiling garlic butter in your they mouth. They feel so. okay on the outside, but yeah. when you bite into them, it's it's hotter than the sun. Yeah, so yeah. Um, so good. Bull bull carrots. Oh, go on then. I'm so excited about, I am that mug who buys things if it has like Christmassy words on. So <laughs> th this is literally just baby carrots and they've sold it yep. to me because it says bull bull carrots. Yeah. They're just those little carrots, you know, it's that just... you get this time of year. The little and, ones. And to be fair, what kind of bull bull is this? Well, you that's can, not that's a bull true. You can get bull bull sachet. <sighs> anyway, I bought it because it says bull bull and um, oh gosh, it's so much butter. There's some slices of orange in there. There's this parsley. Really? Yeah, look. Oh, that's quite impressive, actually. Yeah, there's this parsley butter, so there, it, it is kind of special. Gosh, yeah. yeah. Smells good. Smells very orangey, actually. Oh, really orangey, actually. I've got to say, I like that. Very festive. Mm. They're really nice, actually. It's like a really nice way to have festive carrots. These are cooked in the oven, 40 minutes. Because mm. when you said you're putting them in the oven, I was a bit like, mm, they're going to be all soggy, and right. so I thought they would just be like, Little balls of mush. These are these are really surprising me in a positive way. Although that's not a ball ball. No, that that's a full-on no, carrot. Fair, fair. That's, that, that is just a carrot. <laughs> eight out of ten. Eight out. I've given every single thing an eight out of ten. <laughs> you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight out of ten. Yeah, pizza. Yes. Right. I really want. It. This is deep dish mini pizza. Yeah. All right. No, I'm gonna get that one because that's a deeper dish. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we've got fussy with the mini pizzas because mini pizzas have got so good. How I feel about this is everyone else has upped their game. Yeah. And Iceland have upped their game a bit, but not as much as everyone else. Not enough cheese, not, not enough, enough cheese. sauce. Deep dish is meant to be like loads of sauce and mm. cheese. Six out of 10. Oh, mm, that's quite harsh. But I actually agree, six out of 10, mm. genuinely. The sauce isn't that great, I don't think. Mm. It's not, it's like really watery as well. Let's have a Chicken tikka samosa. Oh, I, was I didn't know you I ordered say those. Because that. That, that actually sounds really nice. I love a tikka flavour. Mm, tikka, stuff. yeah. Mm. Great. Mm. Really nice. Mm. Really good amount of filling as well. Yeah. Really nice. Perfect amount of filling. Nice bit of onion seeds on the top, so it looks fancy. I just think that's really nicely balanced. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Mm. I remember party food like that, mm. all tasting the same. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd just, get the selection box shapes. and yeah. it would just be like, mm, everything tastes the same. Yeah. But you can fully taste like the charred onion seeds on the top. Yeah. Like yeah. They, they taste um, mm. cooked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, lovely. That was really nice. It's a very much eight out of 10, which means Iceland's doing very, very well. They are doing very, very well. Onion bar you say. Mm. I mean, these are on the small side, I have to say. They are, but air fried, much better output. It's got that is kind that of crispy. Yeah, true. Exterior body. Mmm. <laughs> That's nice. Mmm. It's got cinnamon in it. It does. Mm. Hasn't it? Mmm. I was trying to place it, but you're right. That is very bizarre and really Christmassy. Coriander, cumin, cardamom, black pepper, clove, cinnamon, and a bit of spice as well. Can you get the chili? Yeah, it's yeah. quite spicy. It's nice. I'm going to say something outrageous. What? Don't say. Don't say. What are you going to say? Those are. Not the those best. are. The best party food onion bhajis <laughs> that I have had from a supermarket. There's a lot of. There's ears. a niche category there. Onion bhajis party food is a thing. It's a big thing. Yeah. We all do it. These in the air fryer, number one. I am shocked by them. So under the category of onion bhaji party food bought from a supermarket, bought from a supermarket yeah, yeah, yeah. what does it get? A, a 9 out of 10. I was going to say 9. Yeah, a 9 out of 10. If it were bigger, it would get a 10. For me, 
it would get a 10 if the onion was like more prominent. Yeah, like it's still got that kind of slightly mushiness to yeah. it. Yeah. I, I like love it when it's like an onion nest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Let's samosas. do let's do the samosas next, yeah. So these are the vegetable samosas. So I love a veggie samosa. You you're not too bothered about samosas generally, are you? They could be like really bad heartburn. Acid. Mm. Acid reflux. Mmm. Mmm, nice. That's a good basic samosa. It's got texture, the vegetables. Mm. Which is really key. Nothing worse biting into a samosa and it being mush, mm. in my opinion. I don't like it. It's got all these different textures inside. Mm. The flavour's nice. It's not like, it's not too in your face. It's subtle, but mm. it's there. I'm genuinely really surprised, but maybe yeah. we're prejudging because we don't shop in Iceland. Well, we're going in with quite blank expectations. I'd say this is like currently on par. Say like, if I bought this stuff from Sainsbury's and spent twice as much, I wouldn't be disappointed. Completely agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely agree. That's a, that's a really good way of thinking about it. Spring roll? Yeah. So we had a spring roll from Aldi this year. It was tremendous. Poor. It was poor. poor. Yeah, so. And spring rolls are really big, like important to me. Oh, nice crunch. That is a spring roll. That's what it should taste like. I'm getting all What's the flavors I should do. Yeah, I know. That kind of, that little bit of saltiness, savory flavor mm. that you expect from like the little hint of soy sauce in there. Crunch from the, in the ingredients. Crisp exterior body mm. is absolutely fantastic. It's not too bready, which was the Audi one's problem. The Audi one was bread. I'm not joking, this is unbelievable. It's really good. Mm. It's really good for a shop bought, a supermarket, frozen. Party food. Party food. Spring roll. <laughs> Spring roll. It's really, I'm giving it an eight. It's getting a nine. A from nine! Me. I don't normally like spring rolls. Right, we've got one more savory item garlic and cheese bites. Right, garlic and cheese popper bite thing. There's lots of different cheese poppers you can get. You can get the mozzarella type, spicy the, type, the spicy type, the cream cheese type. And then sometimes you'll get like a, a cheese curd type, right? And this is like a cheese curd type. So it is. What's a cheese curd? So it's it's like a very, very young cheese. So it's it's light, it's fluffy. It's got that kind of that that cheesy flavour. I think it's really nice. It's a good cheese popper. It's a good cheese popper. I'm a seven out of ten. I was gonna go seven. People are gonna be like, "Oh, you're copying him," but I'm not. It, it's a seven out of ten. We're just giving you our honest feedback, <laughs> and uh, and it's it's been validated in real time. All right. Pudding. Dessert time. I I was so impressed with the Iceland pudding selection. So. We got, I got a range of things just because I was excited because yeah. I didn't know you could shop online in Iceland. <laughs> so I did probably get too many things. However, it's going to be fun to try them. So, mince pies. Yeah. Now I ordered these specifically because these mince pies from Iceland, these ones won the Good mm -hmm. Housekeeping mm. Food Awards. Out of every single mince pie that they tasted, mm. and they taste a lot, they do. these came first wow. for just general good mince pie. Just your regular, just straight up. A mince, like they look nice. Yeah. I do like it when they make the effort with the snowflake. I am more of like a shallow mince pie. You, you'll you be a good judge of character. I'm a, I'm a deep mince pie kind of guy. Even I like that. I can see why they've scored highly yeah. elsewhere. And there's so much to get right. There's the texture, there's the amount of filling. There's the pastry being that soft, crumbly. Like, but not too dry. I think they're really good. I'm gonna go, because I don't normally like deep filled mince pies. So for me, and I think that's really nice, I'm gonna go nine out of 10. Wow. So I was gonna say eight, but but then you like deep filled mince pies. It's really hard to criticize because I can't pick anything wrong with it. The pastry's really good. Mm. No, love that. Oh, I don't know what to try. Okay, no, we're gonna try these. Oh no, we'll try this because it's warm. Yeah. This is caramelized sticky toffee star. It will caramelize caramelized biscuit. biscuit. Sticky toffee star. Right. I mean, so it's, oh my gosh. 
It's my favourite thing, which is caramelised biscuit. Yeah. And it's your favourite thing, which is sticky toffee pudding. It, it really it's is. It's our pudding. It's our pudding. It's, 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 meant, it's meant to be. This um, should have been our wedding cake. <laughs> it's genuinely a sticky toffee pudding. There's dates in it, right? Oh. So this is going to be... Sweet. This is going to... This is gonna basically wreck us for the rest of the day. It smells so good. Mm. It's so sticky. It is. <laughs> <laughs> In a good way. Mm. That. <laughs> that is a 10 out of 10 dessert. No, no, I'm not hearing it. 10 out of 10 no. <laughs> dessert. That is. You did um, not just give that a 10 out of 10. I did. This is a 10 out of 10 dessert. This has, <laughs> it's, uh, sticky toffee pudding is my favorite, right? Full disclaimer. It's gooey, it's soft, it's sticky. It's so soft and sticky. It's kind of got that nice blend of sweet and salty. <laughs> it's 10 out of 10. How could you make that better? If you can give me one thing that makes that better, whatever. It, you I can, can. You can score I it. Can. Uh, like the crunch of a nut. No. Oh, that's carrot cake, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind. It's a ten out of ten. Because <laughs> <laughs> of how it looks as well. Like I know. It's too much. Wouldn't you just love to serve that on Christmas Day? Every it day. also tastes delicious. Mm. And it comes frozen. So if you've got like a really big freezer, you could buy a lot. You could buy a year's supply. Oh, calm down. It's like a perfect Christmas day pudding. I'm literally a bit shocked. I think we go this because, I mean, I don't know why I've got low expectations because everything has turned out amazing. However, I think of everything, I'll I'll tell it's you. okay to have low expectations. I'll tell you what, yeah, it's okay to have low expectations because this is literally like your value pack. This has got like this is a value 64 pack. pieces yeah. I didn't look in at the box. I didn't look at that when right? I ordered it. Another little observation. When you're unpacking it, sometimes parts of the food stick to the packaging. Yeah. It means you get slightly less products to eat. Yeah, because these are meant to have the, this icing all over the top, but none of them, that was the best one that came out. Like like that kind of like Bakewell slice yeah. sort of uh, decoration. So basically this is a big um, mix of different puddings. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh great, we can try like a few of each. I didn't realize the box would be about this big <laughs> with 500,000 yeah. um, cream tarts in there. So, but that's fine because we're, we're, we've got Christmas parties happening over Christmas. Mm. so. They will all get eaten and they're stored in the freezer. Right, I'll do an eclair, because eclair's my thing, so I'm just, I know this isn't gonna be that good. Should I do the whole thing? Yeah, just the whole thing. I'll have a brownie. I mean, it's that was really basic, mm. but if you are literally having a party, I think that'll be fine, the eclair. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go six out of 10. Brownie. Brownie looks good, to be fair. Seven out of 10, actually. Oh. Seven out of 10. Like. It doesn't have like a variety of textures through it, but the flavour's good. Wow. That's the, uh, yeah, the... Mm. I like, um... Coconut. Mm. Coconut thing's nice. This is like real, um, nostalgic mm. flavours. Mm -hmm. This is like 90s family party. This is on the table and this is what you're eating. Yep. Give it a 7 out of 10, the coconut one. Mm. The pink swirl. It's quite nice, like the, the flavours are almost like a, um, it's almost like an ice cream sandwich. You've got this kind it looks of, like it, yeah. this custard between, with jam between two bits of pastry yeah. and then the icing on top. It's all right, not really my thing. Six out of 10. And then we have, this is a toffee pecan roulade. So I think that looks really nice. So there's four, this from the luxury thing. Um, again, I went for this because I thought, well, that looks like a really good Christmas Day pudding alternative. Yeah. I don't like Christmas pudding at all. You mm. do. I do. So I'm always, I love trying all the Christmassy puddings around yeah. this time of year because I think, oh, what shall I have this year? Because I can <clears throat> change my mind. I don't have to have a sticky fruit bun. Right, let's give this a go. Come on. And it's got that meringue on the outside. Yeah. I can't taste it. Mm. It's okay. 
I can taste it now. Flavours are subtle. Flavours are really subtle. It's not bad. It just tastes like really sweet cream and then you do get a tiny bit of like the nutty pecan mm. flavour. It's not as good as I thought it would be. I have to say mm. they look really good. Um, the the flavour's just not there. The thing is, when you've just had this, yeah. a 10 out of 10 pudding. Flavour explosion. Flavour explosion. That's just not going to stand out as much. No. I'm going to go 7 out of 10 because it looks really nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree. Yeah, 7 out of 10. You put that on a plate at Christmas, it's not going to look out of place. Yeah. This was the best thing. It was the only 10 that you gave, but, mm, you know. Did I give this a 10? But everything was just so surprisingly good. Yeah, I mean, look, the spring rolls still a highlight. They were fantastic. I thought the Indian selection was great. Mm. I loved the cheeses. The chicken skewers were nice. It was so much better than I thought. I feel a bit bad now for overlooking Iceland for <clears> so long. If we were doing Oren's birthday party yeah. and we just wanted a load of party food, I would look to go to Iceland now. Yeah. It's just one of those things, if you've got one near you, you're probably a little bit more familiar. We're, yeah. we're a little bit away, so I it's had, a bit yeah. more challenging. Because they don't deliver everywhere, so I had to order this to my sister's house. That was a very interesting taste test. Yeah. I'm extremely shocked still. Mm. Um, we've got lots and lots of food to get through. I'm suffering from a sugar rush. Mm. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching, and subscribe if you want to see the next Christmas taste test. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye. Bye.